how you were mentioning something about film. Yeah. What was that? Um, I just wrote down no film. Yeah, Coach Drinkwitz, I watched his, again, I watched his press conference today, and he brought up an interesting point. Well, the reporter brought it up, I think, just kind of talking about how they were going to assemble their lineup this year and what players were standing out. And um, Coach Drinkwitz said something that kind of floored me a little bit, that he he wanted to create, I guess, he, he didn't want to have any preconceived ideas of, of what players in the past have uh, have. I'll tell you later. Okay have stood out or anything he so he wanted to come in and just decide the best players are are going to play the i think these players are the best and so he had he said he has not watched any amount of film on previous missouri teams at all including last year to see you know who was the playmakers and that kind of stuff he said the only reason that he's watched last year's film was just to look at the other teams to see what they were doing schematically do you buy that i guess i do buy it why I don't know why he would say it if it weren't true. I think, so I think I buy it, but why do yeah. that? Is it really, I don't, I guess I don't necessarily see the wisdom in actually doing that. I think that, uh, and I kind of think coach drink would s- thinks he's awesome. And <laughs> like, I, l- I like it about him. I respect his self-confidence, but I, I we hope he is awesome. I think he kind of thinks he's, he's just, the best and he's kind of he's trying to be mysterious a little bit you can tell he just has a brand you know and he's he's doing everything he can to stay on the brand and i i respect it um but i mean truly and when i watch his press conferences i'm like this guy's gonna be amazing <laughs> like he kind of convinces you like this guy knows what he's freaking talking about and uh we'll, we'll kind of yet to be seen if that's true or not if he will live up to his kind of mysticism but i think that's just part of the character man i think that whether it's true or not, I think he really wants us to believe like this man just wants to come in and do it his way. He's been very adamant about, I don't care what happened last year. This is, this is now, this is my team now. And I hired these guys and I, you know, this is my team. So I guess what doesn't make sense to me is if I'm coming in and maybe it would be, I don't know. I'm trying to think if he had a quarterback on this roster, if he was trying to make this quarterback, this starting quarterback decision, and he had a quarterback on this roster that played 80% of snaps last year. I have to think he's watching every single one of those snaps. Well, that's what I'm thinking. And figuring out how, you know, when you're installing a new offense, you have to figure out, I, I mean, maybe you're just able to do this all in camp. It doesn't, it doesn't add up to me that he wouldn't look at last year's film to figure out just to see sets and plays that, that carry over. Yeah. I think it was uh, Peter Baugh, I think is his name, is the, the reporter that asked the question. And after Coach answered it, he, like, clarified, like, am I understanding this correctly? You haven't watched film of last year's team at all. And he said, no, I have not, only for the other team to see what they were doing schematically. So, because we're just going to – we're going to do our own thing. So I guess I believe it, and I, get, and I, I can understand – why he would like that idea you know it's like the comparison that jumps into my head is like not using last year's um the like for the college football playoff waiting until week eight to review to release your first wa- first <laughs> rankings <laughs> and um not worrying about what happened last year because if you're releasing rankings in week one, that's only based off of what happened last year. Yes. So if you're trying to figure out how your players fit into this new scheme, only base it off what you're seeing when they are being instructed by you and your staff in the new scheme. In theory, I think, yes, that's that's perfectly how he would want it to work. I just can't, I don't think that I can... I can buy that he hasn't watched any any film of, of individual players in their performances. So I think I do disagree with you. I do I do believe him. I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but that is why he's the coach and I'm not. Yeah, he definitely is the coach. He yeah. he's made that well known. And if it wasn't team. if it wasn't a good idea, we may find out quickly that uh, it didn't really work out the way he thought it would. Yeah, I think I made the joke uh, before we started recording that uh 
we're gonna see like some random running back playing quarterback or something oh yeah because he like threw one pretty ball <laughs> like, in yeah. camp it's like oh wow like, that, all right that kid must be who they had last year so <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't even like a four like, string running back. He doesn't even like ask them what position they are. He just has every player throw a football. It's like, all right, that was a pretty ball. Yeah, you're my you're quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Like like Dawson Downing's like trotting out there and he's the starter for against yeah. Alabama. In, well, you know. I like me some Dawson Downing. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Might just work. Little Wildcat. Yep. <laughs>